Hey guys, Colleen here and just want to give you some updates on closings and real estate related issues with all of the closures. We are doing closings. We're doing closings uh, in house where we separate the buyer and seller refinances. We are in line to become remote online notaries here, which would mean that there are no actual papers that transfer. Everything's done through a portal. I'm very secure. However, there is a backlog. There's a bottleneck of those um, applications going through the Secretary of State. And even if they do go through, some of the lenders are not um, are not accepting that kind of a signature on things. So that's kind of up in the air right now. However, we ha do have approval to do Zoom calls where we would have to go through a number of different things to verify uh, borrowers and sellers' identities. They can sign the documents at home, in their car, however they want to do it, and we would get them the documents prior to. They would have to review them, have plenty of time to review them prior to closing. Then we'd get on a video call with them and they would tell us what paper they're signing. We'd watch them sign it. They would get the documents back to us and then we'd sign them and date them as of the date that we actually took the call with them. So hopefully that will eliminate some of the traffic in our office and we'll keep people, especially higher risk uh, people, safer. That's the goal. We really wanna be able to continue to do these things, but to do it in the safest uh, way possible. So that is uh, you know, uh, an option. And if you have a client right now where a deal is pending and they would prefer to do that, that's completely, uh, you know, that's a viable option at this point. However, if they are not tech savvy and they you know, just still wanna come in, we are happy to do that as well. So we'll, we'll work with you and your clients. Another thing that is going on right now is if you have, you know, right now all evictions are on hold. You, the eviction court's not open to the general uh, evictions. If you do, however, have a tenant who need, you need to get them out of the property for danger reasons, um, destruction of property, threats to neighbors or you or anything like that, you can file a waiver to allow the eviction to go through. It's on a case-by-case -case basis. We don't really even know what the parameters are. It's very general what they're saying that they're accepting. So that's gonna be completely up to the court whether or not they'll accept an eviction to go through based on that. So um, the link to file for a waiver is in the comments. So you can see if the, your, um, your situation would, would qualify for that. There is also some issues that we're having with the courts being closed on probate. So if you have a client or a listing and your client, <clears throat> the owner of the property has passed away, but nobody has been appointed as the fiduciary of the estate, as an executor, a personal representative, an administrator, whatever you want to call it, they can't enter into a contract. Um, there's there's some exceptions to this. If the person's passed away for a long time, you know, maybe you could do an affidavit of dissent, that kind of thing. But you really need to have an attorney look over that and make sure that your clients even have the right to hire you as an agent, let alone enter into a contract. Um, some of these, you know, we have some deals where the person, you know, we have a couple of deals going on right now where we can't get to closing because nobody is appointed. Nobody has the authority to transfer property. So it opens up a whole ball of wax and it's and you can get to be quite a mess. So please, if you are looking, if you're listing a property or if you, your clients are looking at a property and you know that there has been a death, ask for the documentation. We'd be happy, we were doing this even before this pandemic, but we are always happy to look at documents prior to to make sure that you're not gonna run into roadblocks. And the roadblocks now are way worse than they were you know, a couple months ago. So everything can be fixed in closing. It just takes, it, in this case, it, it's gonna take quite a while because we don't, you know, we don't know when the courts will actually be open. So if you have questions or a you know, particular situation that you wanna run by me, I am happy to take your call. I'm happy to email and we're here to help you out and get through this all. Stay well, stay safe and have a great weekend. Thanks.